you're joining Sarah Clark County Fire District 6, Station 63. My name is Dave Schmidtke. I'm the public information officer here. You can probably tell by your camera is that I'm not alone. I'm going to let the other participants of this roundtable introduce themselves. Sure. Thanks, Dave. I'm Chris Pfeiffer. Uh, for the last four years, I've served as fire commissioner here at Fire District 6. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to thank all of our citizens viewing this evening's roundtable, and thank you for your continued support. Cool. And I'm Fire Chief Kristen Maurer. I've been with District 6 for 25 years now and um, can't think of serving a better department. So I'm happy to be here tonight to discuss awesome. the levy. Well, the reason why we're doing this is you, you may notice, or have noticed already, that we're putting a levy lid lift uh, ballot on the August ballot, August 6th, actually. And we wanted to talk a little bit about what a levy is, how it works, why it is so very important to us here. So. Let me get started off uh, and ask you, uh, what do we need the levy to live, live for? Well, we all can look around Clark County and especially in District 6 and see how fast our area is growing and um, how many new residents we're getting, new structures we're getting. It's just getting crowded. And with that, our call volume increases. So the need for emergency services increases. Um, to service those calls, we need to add more people to our ranks. We need to buy more apparatus to get on the road to effectively serve those calls. Okay. Now, Commissioner Piper, um, obviously we've we've passed levies before. This is not our first one. Um, in the past, what are some of the things that we have funded with levy lift-ups? Sure. We funded uh, with our last levy uh, passage. We fa we funded the remodel and uh, update of Station 61 on Hazelville Avenue. We've uh, purchased a uh, tractor-drawn aerial ladder truck. And we've also been able to increase our staffing by uh, 12, 12 new members over the course of the last slide. That's pretty important with our population growth. Huh? It is, it's really provided an added value to the fire district. Okay, all right. Now, Chief, let me ask you, just how does a, a levy, I mean, this is not a, a new tax, right? How does a levy work? So yes, this is not a new tax. Um, we currently have a levy in place uh, and that is how we're primarily funded is through those tax levies. Um, it's about 98% of our budget comes from tax levies. So um, the way a levy works in Washington state is as the assessed valuation of our community rises, our levy collection rate decreases. So we can collect up to $1.50 per thousand of assessed value. Right now our collection rate is at $1.15. So what we're asking the community for is to raise that levy back up to the dollar fifty. So it'd be a thirty-five cent lift for this levy lift lift, and that's what will be on the ballot for um, a homeowner of a four hundred fifty thousand dollar home. That equates to about twelve dollars a month increase in taxes. Okay. That's how a levy works. The other side of the levies that we have a hard time with is we're limited to only one percent increase per year, and so that one percent increase that we're limited to by law does not keep up with inflation. So as things get more expensive, as we get busier, that 1% doesn't cover what we need. I see. So this is kind of a way to bridge the gap, so to speak. Correct. Yeah, so we're asking voters essentially to restore the levy to $1.50. Um, so it'd be the same $1.50 that they, agreed, they voted for in 2020. Okay. So it's been five years since we've, uh, since we have asked for a lid lift. And, uh, We've identified some of the things that we've paid for in the past. Uh, either one of you, uh, what are we looking at? Uh, what would this fund for the future? Yeah, so what District 6 really needs for the future is, like I said, with our population growth and our community growth, we need a bigger firefighter footprint in our community. We need more personnel that can respond to these emergencies. So that's the main focus of this levy, to get that staffing increase to where we can effectively respond to emergencies. Right now at our busiest station in Hazeldale, they're running about 6,000 calls a year and they're running that between two units. So it's not uncommon for one unit to be out and another unit to be out. And then we have to pull engines or apparatus from other station areas, which delays our response times. So increasing that staffing is only gonna um, reduce our response times and improve our service to the community. So that's the main focus. We have some other items that we will need to um, secure with this levy. Part of that is apparatus purchases. Um, we need to purchase more engines. We also need to continually update our facilities to essential facility standards. So we have a station that needs a fuel pump station. We have another station that needs a generator repair. So those kind of items too would be supported by this levy lift. 
you mentioned apparatus. What has happened to the price of apparatus here in the last 10 years? Yeah, we've certainly seen a huge increase in the cost uh, associated with the purchasing of, of apparatus and then the time it takes to receive those as well. Yeah. So what is, an, uh, say, an average cost of a fire engine these days? Well, we purchased two new engines two years ago. Um, we just took delivery of them this year. But at that purchase, each of those engines was $800,000 a piece. And although our engines are, um, they meet all the standards and they look very nice, they're not um, over the top or extravagant. They do the job that we need them to do, but there's not, um, you know, extra bells and whistles and stuff. So we try to keep it at the minimum cost we can to get the function that we need. But we just ordered uh, two more engines. They won't be here until 2028. So what Commissioner Pfeiffer was talking about, the lead time, it's about 40 months to get a fire engine built now. And so that really makes our budgeting spread out and our planning has to be accurate. So those new engines that we just purchased were $1.1 million a piece. So two years later, we're paying 1.1 when we paid 800,000. And it's the same spec and layout and design as our current engines. A $300,000 increase in two years. Yes. Wow. So, so yeah, they're basic engines. There's not a crushed ice maker in there. There's, you know, no <laughs> really powerful stereo. Just yeah. Basic fire. Wow, that's that's expensive. I think that's one of the things that, and you alluded to this, um, one of the things that kind of surprised me when I first started working here was um, that we are so dependent on one funding source. We don't we don't get money from the federal government, you know, not enough to to make a difference, and and not from the state. So makes a levy pretty pretty crucial. Yeah, it's vitally <laughs> important for our for our future. Yeah. Okay. So, and you talked a little bit about this, but I've, I've used the word levy, but it's really really a levy lid lift. Correct. And can you explain to me a little bit more about how that how that works? I mean, we're just taking money off of property taxes, right? Correct. So, uh, again, the way the levies work is we have a permanent fire levy at District 6, and that's normally how fire levies are written or are permanent levies. When we have to go ask for a lid lift is when that levy rate drops. Mm -hmm. And we study that levy rate year after year because we always want to bring it back up to the dollar fifty because we know that that's what it takes to run the fire agency. But we also don't want to ask the community for too big a lift. So we try to balance it between what's too big a lift and what we need to get to be able to function as fire service. It's a delicate balance. It is a delicate balance. Yes. Okay. Well, I think we've covered a lot of basics of the levy lift. Is there anything that I have not asked you that you think is important for people to know? Well, I would just like to say we are so fortunate in our community. Um, District 6, we really, truly believe that everything we have here is a gift from our citizens, um, from our stations to our apparatus, to our uniforms, to our personnel. We wouldn't exist without the community we serve. And and I take that with the utmost um, humility that we get to serve this community. In turn, this community has been very kind and generous to us. Um, and we appreciate that over the years. And it's our goal to have a top tier fire service agency. Like I said, we're not going to go over the top, but we hire the best. We put the best on the streets and we feel like we serve our community really well. Um, we just want to be able to keep doing that to the level that we're doing it. And I thought of something while you were answering there that... Um, we're not the only fire agency in Clark County to be asking for a lid lift. Do you think that could be potentially confusing? People think that they might have to vote on more than one lid lift? Yeah. Well, um, Mr. Pfeiffer, would you like to describe our area? So sure, know? yeah. Fire District 6, we serve 37 square miles, uh, largely in the Hazeldell area, but we service Mount Vista, Philida, Salmon Creek, Lakeshore. Um, and so citizens in those, in that, in those areas will be the ones that will be voting for the fire district six levy. Mm -hmm. So even though district three and Clark Callis fire and rescue may be presenting levy lid lifts as well, you're only going to vote on the lid lift that in the area in which you live. Yeah. Our citizens will only see fire district six on their ballot. Okay. Okay. Cause so I've had that question already and it's like, everybody's asking for for this and it's like yeah but you're not gonna have to vote on all those or pay for all those that's right all right if you have any more questions or comments you know we're we're very happy if you reach out to us we'd rather you have a question and get it answered than continue to wonder about certain facets of the lid lift 
So they can call us at our at our main office. Uh, anytime we'd be happy, the chief would be happy to talk with you um, about this lid lift. Uh, again, it's it's a pretty important piece for us. So that's why we want to make sure to get the word out and be as transparent as humanly possible. It's another reason we want to do this. So if you've got any questions, our main number is 360-576-1195. Called that number a million times and suddenly when the camera's on, I can't remember it. <laughs> Yeah, and if I could also add, um, Dave, that um, I'm happy to go out and talk to any neighborhood associations or groups or community uh, and talk about the levy. So you can contact me through that number, too, and we'd be happy to come out and do a presentation to explain it more. That's awesome. All right, Chief Maurer, Commissioner Pfeiffer, thank you very much for helping to fill us in. And uh, thank you for taking time to watch us today. We're going to be doing at least two more of these We'll bring some PowerPoints in and just, you know, have a little bit more detailed information, but we thought it'd be nice to get a start early in the year. So again, thank you very much for watching.